Hi everyone, welcome back to the Electric Valentines. Tonight we're going to talk about something that's been really bothering me recently, and that is the Driver Plus system on Rivian's Gen 1 vehicles. And when I first got my Rivian R1T, I was really excited to finally have an advanced driver assistance system that might actually rival my wife's enhanced autopilot on her Model Y. But in the few years that I've been driving it, it's really become apparent that Driver Plus is really hampered by some technical limitations on the Gen 1 hardware. And now it seems that Rivian is more focused on their Gen 2 vehicles and their, and their autonomous platform for uh, Gen 2 than they are making any meaningful updates on the Gen 1 vehicles. In fact, I think it's pretty unlikely that we'll see any updates on Gen 1 R1Ts or R1Ss other than maybe having them enable it on more highways than it's currently available. But here's the good news. There's a company called Comma AI that's stepping in to do what Rivian can't or won't. They have hardware called the Comma 3X that runs a software program called OpenPilot that's completely transforming hands-free driving for Rivian Gen 1 owners. In fact, OpenPilot is offering a smoother, smarter, more capable system than Driver Plus ever could. And we have some amazing community developers like Lucas Lotkolben, who have been working hard to bring OpenPilot to the Rivian, fine-tuning the compatibility, and even developing the wiring harness to bring it all together to make it work. So if you're frustrated with Rivian's lack of meaningful updates for the Gen 1 Driver Plus system, and you're looking for a real driver assistance program that works on more roads, this video is for you. Come on, let's check it out. So let's talk a little bit about what OpenPilot does better than the stock Driver Plus on Gen 1 Rivians. And I think that really comes down to four key areas. The first of which being lane centering or lane keep assist, whatever you want to call it. Uh, open Pilot just keeps you centered in the lane like an arrow so much better than Driver Plus does. Driver Plus tends to ping pong you back and forth. It doesn't handle curves very well. Uh, open Pilot is just stable. It works. It's great. Uh, you never have to worry. It's a lot more consistent. Um, the second thing, second point would be that Open Pilot just works on more roads. Driver Plus is geofenced to certain pre-mapped highways, and in my experience driving here in Dallas, there are a lot of highways where it doesn't even work on the full highway. I could be driving down I-35, it'll work on a, a patch of I-35 for a few miles and then disengage because it's not mapped correctly or they don't have it in their system correctly. It may have something to do with construction, I don't know, but the point is that it doesn't work everywhere. Open Pilot works on highways, it works on local roads, it even works on some uh, off-road situations. Uh, works on city streets. Uh, the third point would be it's open source. So what does that mean? Open source means it's open for anybody to contribute, to develop for it. Uh, it also means that it's constantly being developed, unlike Driver Plus, which for the Gen 1s at least, Rivian is not really making any more meaningful updates for. I doubt we're going to see any new, really meaningful features. The only thing I expect that we'll see is that they may open it up to work on more geofenced highways. Not, not totally open, like it's still going to be on, on pre-mapped highways, but they may open it up to more pre-mapped highways. Um, but OpenPilot is constantly being worked on. There's a huge community of developers, as I mentioned, Lucas, who uh, has been working on getting the Rivian port set up. Um, and another thing, the fourth point that goes along with that is that there is a lot more customization options. There's a lot more freedom in, with like how you want to use your ADAS system. Um, there are a, sub, a couple of forks of OpenPilot uh, created by some other community develop developers. There's SunnyPilot, uh, there's FrogPilot, Frog Pilot, uh, both of which include features that aren't included in the stock OpenPilot version. Those are some features that uh, uh, just give you a lot more options with how you want to drive your car. There's one feature that I'm really looking forward to working with or using in uh, Sunny Pilot, which is called MADS. And unfortunately, I can't remember what that acronym stands for. I'll put it up on the screen here. Um, but basically, it unties the uh, latitudinal con control, basically the steering control of Open Pilot, from the longitudinal, which is your acceleration braking. 
and allows you to manually control steering and braking while open pilot controls, I'm sorry, manually control the um, acceleration and braking while open pilot controls the steering. Uh, which I could see being really useful in a lot of situations. Uh, so again, looking forward to using that. Hmm. One other thing I forgot to mention that I would say is a definite advantage over Driver Plus is that this is a hands-free system. Uh, the Comma 3X device does have a driver-facing camera that um, will detect whether or not you're paying attention to the road. If you're looking away or your eyes are closed or you're looking at your phone for um, you know just a, a few moments, it will definitely remind you to pay attention. Uh, and if you do it often enough, it will lock you out of the system. So uh, there is a, a great you know built-in driver monitoring system. It's just not nagging you um, every minute or two to touch the steering wheel like Driver Plus uh, like Driver Plus does. A much more chill driving experience, as, as uh, Kama likes to say. I like it a lot better. Um, so yeah, that's another advantage. So I've talked a little bit about where OpenPilot excels, uh, especially compared to Driver Plus. What are some areas where it may not be up to snuff yet? I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, first of all, OpenPilot is just better than Driver Plus period, full stop. Um, there are a few technical hurdles we're still working on. Uh, we don't yet have the um, set speed function uh, available from the steering wheel. Currently, right now, for the best experience on open pilot, you have to use the stock, um, the stock uh, cruise control, dynamic cruise control from, from Rivian, which is, it works, it's not the best. Um, what we really want to be able to do, though, in the future, is use OpenPilot's longitudinal, longitudinal control, where OpenPilot will control the acceleration and braking. But the one hurdle we're still trying to figure out, or the community's trying to figure out, is uh, the set speed issue. For some reason, we can't see the set speed presses from the steering wheel control, um, or the, the follow distance, which is something we'll also need to figure out. The another thing that I, I guess I, I should say that I do miss from Driver Plus is the uh, the fact that it'll turn off your turn signal after you've made um, an automated lane change. Comma Pilot will or Open Pilot will do the lane change for you, and I'll, I'll demonstrate that right here. You basically turn on the signal, so it'll actually change lanes in the other other direction here. You just nudge the steering wheel, and it'll make the lane change for you. Unfortunately, you have to manually turn off the signal. So hopefully that's something they can figure out where after you've made the lane change, it'll turn the signal off for you. I don't even know if that's possible. Hopefully it is. Um, but that's where Open Pilot really differentiates itself from Driver Plus. It's just a lot better of a system. Somebody's making some vroom vroom noises with their car there. Um, but yeah, it's a better system pretty much all around. I enjoy it a lot more than Driver Plus. Uh, it really, in my opinion, gives a second lease on life for Gen 1 Rivians uh, and Gen 1 Rivian owners who have been disappointed like I have with Driver Plus and the fact that it doesn't look like we're really getting any more Driver, driver Plus support. Um, the comma really, really does give uh, a second lease on life for our Gen 1 R1Ts and R1Ss. So anyway, that's, that's really my take. If you guys have any questions or want to learn, know a little bit more or anything else about Kama Open Pilot or how Kama works with the Rivian, let me know. Back to the studio. So, what does this mean for Gen 1 Rivian owners? Well, it means that if you're waiting for Driver Plus to improve, don't hold your breath. Rivian's focused on their autonomy platform for their Gen 2 vehicles, and I think we're pretty much stuck with what Driver Plus is today for our Gen 1 vehicles. But thanks to Kama AI and the developer community, we don't have to accept that. The Comma 3X with OpenPilot gives us true hands-free driving with better performance on more roads right now. So that's my take. Driver Plus on the Gen 1 Rivians has been a bit disappointing, but Comma AI and the Comma 3X has given Gen 1 Rivians a new lease on life and given us a real solution for hands-free self-driving. If you found this video helpful, hit that like and subscribe button for more Rivian and EV content. 
Also, if you've got a Comma 3X in OpenPilot and you've tried it in your Rivian, let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.